What's up everybody, JB Tech Fanatic back again with another video. As always, I wanna start this video by thanking each of you for joining me. If you have not yet subscribed, I'd be so honored if you would consider. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you wanna know when the latest content is available, don't forget to click the notifications to on. Today I got an exciting new product by Mobvoi called the TickWatch Pro 5. Now this product was actually sent to me from Mobvoi and in addition to that, I was able to get them to give a discount code for my viewers. So if you wanna buy anything on their website, including this TickWatch Pro 5, simply use JB Tech 15. I'll leave that link down below so you can utilize that discount code. So what we're going to do today is we're going to unbox this product. I'm going to take a close-up look. We're going to look at all the features and functions. And by the end of this video, my overall goal is really to find out, is this smartwatch worth your hard-earned money? I can't wait to get started. Let's do this. Definitely a feature-packed watch. Let's go ahead and read the specifications on the box. Tick Watch Pro 5, Snapdragon W5 Plus Gen 1, wearable platform, rotating crown navigation, dual display with interactive and customizable ultra-low power display, long battery life, fast charge. It is 5 ATM water resistant and open water swim suitable built-in compass, GPS and barometer, one tap measurement of multiple health matrix, recovery time and VO2 max, 100 plus professional workout modes, and 1000 plus watch faces. Let's go ahead and go into setup. Make sure that you fully charge your device. Simply use the magnetic connector on the back of the watch. You're gonna plug the other end into your phone charger. Hope, hopefully you have a USB charger on deck and then this is really easy to do. It just kind of grabs, fully charge it and let's move on. Once the watch is charged, you're going to need to download some apps. You're going to need to download the Mobvoi Health and Time Show if you want to have a lot of watch faces to choose from. This is a Wear OS operated watch. However, you cannot set this up using the Wear OS app. Not quite sure why, but it's something you do have to keep in mind. So go ahead, download the app, turn on your device, and let's begin. I'm gonna show you this just so you can kind of understand. Little tricky setup here. Here's Wear OS. First, you're gonna want your phone to know that your new device is activated. So if you need to connect it directly through Bluetooth, do so. But as you're gonna see here, this is gonna pop up. Allow Wear OS, blah, blah, blah. Tick Watch Pro 5, hit allow. And then it'll just say, Wear OS keeps stopping. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this app. Now, we're gonna open up here. As soon as I went to do that, TickWatch Pro 5 pops up, says set up this device. Again, you might be able to trigger your phone to do this by opening up Bluetooth and then finding the device. Go ahead and press connect. Go ahead and press allow access. Getting details will last for a minute. Now you're going to connect it to your Google account by pressing continue. I know it's sort of blurry there, but the bottom right. If you're going to want to use the Google Wallet or Google Pay app, you will have to set a lock screen. You can do that here, otherwise hit skip. Next, it's going to just give some recommended app. You can continue or skip up to you or check mark the ones you want it to just download in the beginning process. Now it's gonna finish off setting it up. We are now all set and ready to go. All right, so we have already connected the watch and it's set up. We're gonna go back into this app here. 
This is gonna be your overall control of your device and a way to put new watch faces on the device. First, we have our watch that's connected right here. Any watch face that is already set, you can edit that watch face here if it has the abilities to be edited. Here you can see we can change it up quite a bit. Whatever you wanna do, you just tap, goes to whatever spots you have, and then you hit save, and then you're done. Also, these three little lines here are all your actual downloaded watch faces. We'll scroll through this very quickly. Um, quite a few to choose from, you know, we're gonna look at how you can get many, many more in a moment. If you like it, you can save it by clicking the heart. Um, that just really puts it as your favorite. Those are the one, real easy to change. Again, you're just gonna tap it and boom, it changes. Now, let's go ahead and back out. Also, Time Show. Time Show is a more or less an ecosystem of watch faces. You can get some free. You can see which ones are free. Sorry about that. Or you can pay a monthly or yearly subscription. Completely up to you if you want to have tons and tons to choose from. If you want to disconnect for any reason and just be connected to Wi-Fi, you can do that there. Also, if we go to statistics, this is basically going to be all your health tracking information, whatever you add. So here you can see activity, exercise, sleep, heart rate, stress, VO2 max. And again, this thing has like every sensor basically that you can get on a smartwatch right now. If you hit manage items, here's where you can add or delete anything that you don't want. So like I just press the X here really quickly. And as you can see, it puts it to a list of what do you want to add and to add, you simply press that little plus. So it's very easy to use. Back to device, if you scroll all the way up, this is where you're gonna get the settings to your watch itself. You have your tiles. Here's where you can add or delete any tiles you want. And again, we're gonna look at the watch in a moment, but real simple, you can only have 10, I believe. Yeah, you can only have 10. Here's what I got checked. And here's all that's available. Hopefully I'm not going too fast so you can see all this. Quite a bit. I mean, really a lot of different things that you can pick from. All right, back on out, you can go to your settings. Now, here we have display, sound and vibration, apps and notifications, general accessibility, calendar, account, system, privacy, and unpair and reset. All right, so basically last but not least, as far as the phone goes, you have your account. Here's where you can give your third party authorizations, um, settings, feedback about, you can order, support everything all in one place. So pretty nice. Wanted to show you the Time Show app, just a real quick glance. There is a ton of watch faces to choose from. Um, to set them on your watch, the watch has to be set to Time Show. So really quickly, you're just gonna hold down the screen. You're going to scroll over until you see time show. Once you set time show, you're going to be able to use any of those apps. So here you see add new. Sorry about that, I passed right by it. But there it is, time show. As soon as you click that, you're gonna be able to change using the Time Show app. If you don't do that, it pops up a little notification that says switch to Time Show. And I keep saying app, I mean watch face. Let's go ahead and click, and then you're gonna see, it's actually gonna load it, it's a little different, and then it's gonna go ahead and set it as your watch face. All right, so I went to the homepage just so you can see, it is a subscription-based thing, but, Having said that, you do not have to give a credit card. You do not have to buy anything for the free um, watch faces. And there is quite a few. So definitely check it out. Honestly, I'm not going to sign up for a subscription, but maybe you want to. I would just recommend going through and checking out um, the free watch faces that are available. Um, depending on the season, they're going to change them up. But they really got lots of watch faces here. I know I'm going fast here, but I'm just trying to give you an idea. All right, so we're gonna move on and we're gonna go ahead and look at everything on the watch itself. Okay, so we're starting from the watch face. If you swipe up from the bottom, you're gonna get your notifications. Swipe down from the top and you're going to get your quick toggles. 
Swipe to the right and you're going to get your cards. Again, you can set those. We took a look at that. When you swipe to the right, you're going to get your weather and then whatever you set for your contacts and also your like sleeping, heart rate, that kind of thing. To get to your apps, you're going to press in on the crown button and then you can use the crown to rotate. Pretty cool. I like the crown. So the crown just makes it really easy to get through your apps. And of course, it just, you know, keeps you from touching the screen and getting it all dirty. But all the apps are here stacked up. And again, we're using that crown. But if you want to get back to your recent apps, you have that second button here. The second button is going to pick up any recent apps. But if you scroll all the way down, you can still get to all apps using that crown. Okay, so we're starting from the watch face. If we scroll up, you're going to see your notifications. If you scroll down, you're going to see your toggles and you can edit them. Being from the right to left can take you through everything that you have set to use. The nice thing is if you want anything extra or you have something that you need to add, simply just hold down from anywhere. Again, make sure you swipe either left or right. Go ahead and press the little plus symbol, and then you can go through the list of everything that you have available. So I'll show you all that really quickly here. Sorry if it's a little smudged. I had to touch the screen there. And anything you add, you simply would just press, and then it's there. If you don't want it, you just hit that little minus, and it's gone. So now we're back on the watch face. We're going to go ahead and press in the crown. When you press the crown in, it's going to take you to all your apps. I'll scroll through those very quickly for you. These apps can be accessed just by touching. Also, you have your Play Store here. When we click our Play Store to update all your apps, again, you're going to want to do that. You can get any app that you need from the Play Store here or Watch Face. But when you scroll all the way down, you want to make sure that you keep those apps up to date by going to Manage Apps. When you're under Manage Apps, you can go ahead and click Update All couple things I wanted to note to use text messaging, you're going to need to download Google messaging, and you're also going to have to set that as the default on your phone. Now that of course only applies to any apps that are not available on the Google Play market. So you might have another app that is, but just in general, it's the Google messaging app. Now we're going to go through the settings menu. We're going to start with connectivity. Click, you have Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, and airplane mode. Next we have display. First thing under display is your always on screen. Here we have AMOLED or ultra low power display. Tilt to wake, adjust brightness. We have our screen timeout, go to watch face, font size and change watch face. Next we have our gestures, touch to wake, touch lock, touch and hold watch face to change. Apps and notifications. We have our notifications, do not disturb, default apps, app info, app storage. We have our Google account and then sound. We have different options under sound. We have our media, call volume, ring notification, alarm, and then the screen unlocking sound charging. And you can change the watch ringtone here. Next, we have our vibration here. Silence watch when not being worn. Um, we can adjust vibration there and then using the crown. Next up, we have general. Under general, we have our show unread notification dot auto launch media controls. We have our scroll to tiles and our tutorial. Sorry, I sounded weird on that one. <laughs> Health profile. Then we have our location. Accessibility features are here. Magnification, talkback, font size, sound, vibration. This does have RTT, real-time text. Then we have our text-to-speech output. Um, and then the ability to use the power button to end your phone calls. We have security. Here is where you're going to set device administration or screen lock. And then last, you have your system. Now, system is important because here is where you're going to find your system updates our essential mode, which we'll talk about in a moment, power off, restart, date and time, input methods, about, disconnect and reset. Now, essential mode, for those of you that really want some serious battery life, this is for you. Here you can see you have several different settings Switch to essential mode. We can just click that here. Essential mode greatly extends the battery life to exit, press and hold the sign side button until booting screen appears. And then you can select that if you want. We're not going to now. Um, you can also set up auto switch by schedule, which is really cool. If you wanted to turn on like at night at a certain time, you can set that up and then you also have auto switch based off battery level at 5%. I recommend keeping that on. That way you know that you're never gonna, going to be without a watch completely. 
that pretty much wraps up what's in that section there. Um, also, the quick toggles here, I know we looked at these already. Um, again, we have our flashlight, um, you have Wi-Fi, payment method, brightness, Let's see here, theater mode, everything pretty much I have out, I believe. If you want to add or take away, hold and drag to reorder. But if you don't want something, just hit the little minus button. Looks like I have everything out. So got the battery saver on there, sound, settings, everything you need, night mode, brightness. Other than that, you know, close up look. I really like that crown. That really is a distinctive feature that helps for me, gives it another reason why you should check this watch out. Um, it is actually great build quality. This does have a plastic back. And I know some people don't like that, but honestly, I think it feels a little better on your skin. And then around here, this is definitely metal there. So it's just the backside. Again, everyone's different, matter of opinion, I guess. Um, and then of course you still have that secondary button there. And this is sort of, uh, it's rough, right? It's not smooth. Um, again, not that rotating bezel that I love on Samsung, but it looks pretty good to me. Also, for those of you wondering, um, you have to get their bands. There is some on eBay and Amazon, but they are 24 mm size. So these are a little bit, yeah, kind of a unique size. None of your other watches likely it's gonna work with. None of my Samsung bands work. Um, and some other ones, I have a Fossil and some other ones, none of them work. But they do have that easy release tab so you can switch them out easily. Um, and you can buy some straight from their website using the promo code I shared to save a discount. And uh, they have some leather band and silicone on there that you can choose from. And again, you can get this in two colors, um, black or I believe this one is called sandstone. But all in all, great build quality. The band that comes on here is very comfortable. You can wear it all day, it's not gonna bother you. And I don't believe you will worry about this watch in any way damaging it. You'd really have to try to damage it. So it's definitely well built. And honestly, I really like it. I think it looks great. Um, again, I'm gonna get some different colored bands, but great watch. Let's quickly go through the specifications. Dimensions in MM are 50.1H by 48L by 12.2D with a weight of 44.3G. The watch case is metal, 7000 Siri aluminum and high strength nylon with fiberglass. The watch strap is solid silicone and interchangeable and 24mm. Operating system is Wear OS 3 and the platform is a Snapdragon W5 Plus Gen 1 wearable platform with two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of ROM. The display is a 1.43 466 by 466 with 326 PPI, full color, always on display, AMOLED plus, ultra low power display, Corning Gorilla anti-fingerprint cover glass with connectivity of Bluetooth 5.2 and a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. It does have NFC payments with Google Pay. It does feature a speaker, mic, vibrator, a PPG barometer, and a compass. The battery capacity is 628 mAh with the durability 5 ATM open water swim MIL STD 810H compatibility Android 8.0 or newer and we've already looked at the application. As far as the sensors go, it really has everything you need. Gyro sensor, HD, PPG, heart rate sensor, SPO2 sensor, skin temperature sensor, low latency, off body sensor, barometer and compass. Side note here. You will, of course, get software updates with time. When you watch this video, it might be on newer software than I listed. When it comes to smartwatches, the number one problem is battery life. I think most smartwatches, each brand has their own shtick, if you would, their own, I don't know, special feature. TickWatch really approaches battery life. Now, I'll be completely honest, I review tech, lots of different smartwatches, Give me a smartwatch that gives me seven hours of battery life, I'm good, right? I'll throw on another one. It just doesn't affect me too much. However, that doesn't mean that I don't realize that battery life is extremely important in a smartwatch. Here's why. Usually people that wear watches love watches and they're used to having batteries that last for years. When smartwatches came on the scene, the battery life was horrendous. So giving you vivid bright screens that you can see outside in the sunlight and all these features in a small form factor didn't always line up. Now, TickWatch has something very special. I'm gonna read this 
This is from their website. It's two watches in one. Tick Watch 5 Pro has an integrated, high efficient, ultra low power display on top of a stunning OLED display. This allows you to access critical information for the days without a charge. In extreme scenarios, the ultra low power display enables you to stay on top of your game via switchable tiles such as heart rate, blood oxygen, calories, and a compass. Something really cool, you get to select from an array of 18 bright colors for ultra low power display to fit your look when exercising effortlessly, sorry, without effort, track your heart rate as a backlight changes to the beat of your heart. Six colored zones ranging from aquamarine to sharp orange indicates your warm-up, cardio, or dangerous heart rate zones at a quick glance. Now, right now you're looking at the basic low-powered watch face, if you would. You got your time, looks like we got our heart rate, our steps, it's gonna have some light. But before you switch over to power saving mode, so we got ultra low power, we are in, by the way, display settings, always on screen, we're gonna go ultra low power and then scroll up, go to backlight color. This, first of all, is your colors that you get to choose from, nice. But the dynamic heart rate zone backlight needs to be turned on right here. Now, once that's turned on and you've set your date format to your liking, we're going to go to the pull down menu we're gonna click the battery icon here and we're going to switch to essential mode. Now we're in essential mode. We're gonna get crazy battery life. You can see that I have a red color, so you got your backlight, still got your time, date, heart rate, steps. Nothing else will work, right? Push that button. If you wanna get out of this, you gotta hold down not the crown, but the flat button, that'll get you out. But really, it gives you quite a bit for having up to, again, up to 80 hours of battery life. Pretty insane. Then once you're done, just go ahead and hold this down. And now we're back into the standard watch mode. In this mode, remember, you have the option when the screen shuts off, essential mode turns on. So you're gonna get the best battery life available with full color when you you know do anything on the display use the crown or you can just turn essential mode on and shut the standard watch off completely and maximize your battery life so just wanted to show you here you can see when this is on your wrist you're not looking at it quick and then you tap it and you're back in all right so let's go through the review i'm just going to keep it to specific items as we've covered a lot in this video already. First, let me tell you about how I found Tick. Tick Watch, of course. The Tick Watch 3 Pro GPS is the watch that I first bought from them. Now, I had never heard of them before. I had never purchased anything from them before. This was a couple years ago. I paid about 350, if I remember, for this watch, which is a good amount of money. But I thought, what the heck, give it a try. And honestly, what made me love this watch most was it was so snappy. Compared to almost any other watch I used, there was virtually no lag. When I wanted to do something, it did it without any hiccups. And that's something that really changed the way I looked at smartwatches because it can make or break your, ex your experience with it. Um, it can make you frustrated and just get to the point where you're just sort of like, let me just wear a normal watch. The second thing, of course, was that battery saving always on display. I thought that was a unique thing that they were able to put two layers of screens in there and get this crazy battery life. Not something that I really cared about. I'm more of the, just get me through the day, I'll throw it on the charger at night, but I know there's tons of people that can get their batteries charged and they wanna make sure they have their watch on at all times. This watch is certainly the one for you. Now, let's talk about each category. First, the bands. Now, it's 24mm, 
if you want to replace. Yes, they are replaceable. You can buy replacement bands, a couple of them on their website, and then you could buy any one that's that size, right? I'm not a big fan of the color of this band. So I have some on order. I'm gonna switch it out with a leather band. So they're comfortable to wear, definitely well um, built, if you would. These are not gonna break on you when you're working out. Um, and it's comfortable, you know, they're silicone, I'm assuming. Definitely silicone. But I, one thing I do like about the band is I like that they're uh, a fatter width. Some people don't like that, I like that. Next, we have basically usability. And what I mean is each watch sort of has its thing, right? Um, Samsung has the rotating bezel. This one has the crown here. You can rotate up and down, push it in to control your watch. Now, again, I'm right-handed, very useful if it's on my left arm, of course. Um, I find it's a great way to get around. However, it's not something that can keep you from ever touching the um, screen itself. And really, the reason why sometimes you don't want to touch the screen is it gets yucky, right? You have your oily hands and it starts to look bad. Other than that, that's great to have in addition to the touch screen. Very responsive, works great. And if you're talking about just the way the screen looks, um, PPI, the resolution, it's up there with the best of the best, right? AMOLED display, bright, vivid, um, you can see it in bright sunlight, no problems there. And then of course you have that ultra battery saving second display, more basic toned down, but again, very usable, easy to see, and again, it could give you crazy battery life. Build quality of the watch itself, meaning not including the band. Um, it's well built, definitely. Um, I've hit it on things. It doesn't scratch easily. Um, again, you can take it swimming. It's got that five ATM rating, which is pretty awesome for a smartwatch. You know, the back of it is plastic. However, I find that a little bit more comfortable on the arm. Um, and then of course the sides, you could definitely tell that's metal. So in the hand, if you're just holding it, it definitely feels, has a good weight um, and a great build quality in my opinion. Um, as far as wearability goes, you know, some people um, complain that they get burns on their arm if they use sleep tracking, not with this watch, but other watches. I've had nothing of that, the sort with this. I've used it um, sleep tracking each night. Um, it's comfortable to wear. It doesn't seem to bother me in my sleep or wake me up. The band is comfortable. So overall, I think it's built well and it's comfortable to wear, to say the least. Features. First of all, this watch is feature packed. When it comes to features and health features, I really don't know what else this could have with the exception of blood pressure. And I'm still not sold on the idea that a smartwatch is gonna give you a very accurate blood pressure reading anyway. And I think that is the reason why we haven't seen a lot of watches actually have it in the United States, because I don't know that it's too accurate. But I will say this, I wore my Galaxy 6 Classic and this at the same time, like for bed. Um, the sleep was about 5% difference. Samsung was actually a little less registered sleep by about 5% on average than this was. I'm not sure which one's right, but I found that interesting. Um, oxygen saturation, heart rate, honestly, they're spot on. They're almost identical when you take the two. So I found that also very interesting. Um, step counter seems to be extremely accurate. Um, I had my son do um, some push-ups, workouts, stuff like that, just to see how that was. Everything seemed pretty accurate. Nothing's perfect, but I would say it's up there with the best of the best. And it has everything, with the exception of blood pressure, at least in the United States. I'm not sure about other countries. So, all in all, we have a smartwatch that has everything, great battery life, looks great, great build quality, but there's one thing that I just don't understand. Where is Google Assistant? Now, I was able to get Amazon on here, Alexa, and make that the assistant. 
I'm not sure exactly why a Google Wear watch doesn't have it yet. It is coming, and by the time you see this video, it might be there already. I just don't understand. But that should be coming eventually. It's supposed to get the latest and greatest software. Only time will tell. But I will say this. The watch as it sits is definitely worth the money. It's a great product. I think it's just as good as any of the best smartwatches out there. It's really gonna come down to taste. And I also think depends on what kind of phone you have dictates what smartwatch you buy and which one works better because obviously Samsung to Samsung is gonna have some special features just like you know Apple watches only work with iPhones or whatever it's just ecosystem but other than that it's an awesome product I definitely recommend you checking it out I highly I highly recommend it I really do and that is my honest feedback that pretty much wraps up my review on the TicWatch Pro 5. Honestly, overall, this is an outstanding product with great build quality. It has every feature you really need as far as health, the ability to work out, the ability to go swimming with the watch on. Um, it works great if you use it via the speakerphone or if you just want to use it for a watch that gets insanely long battery life. So if you like this product, definitely use that discount code JBTech15. Go through that link in the description to check it out. As always, I'd like to slow things down, remind you life is so short. Don't forget to love your family, love your neighbors, go out today and do an act of kindness for someone. It is amazing how much a small act of kindness can make a difference. The world is a complete mess right now, and the only people that can change it is you and I. Remember, I do YouTube for you and you only, so if you need me, reach out to me in the comment section. You can also come follow me on TikTok, Twitter, now X, Facebook, Instagram, at JBTechFanatic. I'll be glad to help you over there. Also, best place to contact me is in the comment section. Thank you for joining me. I want to invite you to subscribe one more time. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I can't wait to talk to you in the comment section and see you in the next video. And until then, I'm JB Tech Fanatic, and I'm out. Peace.